If your primary physician detects a heart problem, cardiologists have many non-invasive procedures to diagnose, treat, and even prevent future problems. We asked Dr. Adnan Neighbor of Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs about some of these life-saving techniques. Cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of death and disability in America. So what I do is preventive cardiology. That's what non-invasive cardiology is all about. Besides diagnosing and treating known disease, I try to prevent heart attack and stroke. Those are the cardiovascular risk factors. High blood pressure is the number one cause of stroke. It also is a common cause of heart failure, which is the number one reason people are hospitalized in the U.S. is congestive heart failure. So I try to prevent that hospitalization. I, I see mainly pa patients on an outpatient clinic basis. In the diagnosis of, uh, of cardiovascular disease, we uh, do ultrasounds of the heart, which is an echocardiogram. The stress testing, which can be uh, either by uh, ultrasound guided regular exercise stress and, and or uh, nuclear exercise stress testing in which we uh, inject an isotope before and, uh, the exercise and take uh, nuclear scans of the heart. Dr. Neighbor explains the difference between the non-invasive and invasive procedures. So we don't do any invasive testing. Uh, that would be uh, an invasive cardiologist is, is one who does the cardiac catheterization or uh, the angioplasty and or the EP study, which is another invasive test to t check the uh, electrical system of the heart. The, the patients that come and see me are, are mainly uh, patients with uh, cardiac risk factors, such as diabetes, high blood pressure. People with hypertension are very often referred for better control of their blood pressure and their risk factors. And uh, anybody with chest pain basically comes to me to evaluate whether it's the heart. It's usually the primary care physician that uh, sends them to us after they've determined that there may be a, a, a problem with the heart. We have patients every other day that come back and thanking us because they, they saw us, they changed their lifestyle, they quit smoking. That's, that's what I always go back to. They're always thanking me for saving their life because it's actually preventing a heart attack. We asked Dr. Neighbor what he recommends to his patients. What I tell them is diet, exercise, low fat, low cholesterol diet, no added salt, lots of fruits and vegetables, and uh, avoid the, uh, you know, the uh, dairy products are very uh, high in fat content. So we try to do, recommend non-fat or uh, low fat dairy products, uh, like low fat ice cream. Everybody likes ice cream, and if you get used to the uh, low fat ice cream or the no fat ice cream, it's eventually tastes just as good, if not better.